Welcome back. Governor Andy Bashir presented his budget to the General Assembly tonight with big boosts to education, health care, and pay raises for many workers. Fox 56's Bodie Brooks has the breakdown of the governor's proposal and how the GOP is responding tonight. Bodie. Kentucky is now a tale of two budgets. Governor Bashir confident his proposal is affordable but has big boosts across the board. The GOP, however, isn't ready to draw conclusions just yet. Governor Andy Bashir laying out his vision for Kentucky's next two years. We are in a transformative time. Whether we're referring to COVID or our economic boom, it is clear things are going to be different moving forward. Kentucky's teachers and schools are receiving extra funding and pay raises, something also going out to state workers, and the governor going tit for tat to match the GOP's offer. The House budget includes a 6% raise, though, on a later date, on an employee's anniversary date. But you know what? Our state workers deserve the very best. Let's give them the full 6% raise for everyone. The governor hopeful the investment in education produces a better workforce, too. My budget aims to pair record funding with up for public education with key investments so we can turn these last two great years of economic momentum into 20 years of amazing prosperity. You know, there was a promise of a chicken in every pot tonight. The GOP open to the governor's proposal, but with all it's asking, wants to take a closer look. As I said, I'm not going to comment on it because I want to see what the details are. What is rationale for spending? Job creating investments being applauded. However, questions remaining over how they'd work. But we have yet to see the, be the people to be able to fill those jobs. Lawmakers say they are confident they can get the budget passed well before the veto override session begins, perhaps possibly as soon as February. Live in Frankfurt, Bodie Brooks, Fox 56 News. 